Kelvin, undefeated run comes to an end. Slightly disappointing not to get anything out of the game, particularly after that second half performance. Yeah, I thought first half, first 10 minutes especially, we was under cash a bit, new system, chucked together at last minute and things like that. But um, second half, I thought we got to grips with it and that, and with the chances we created, I thought probably should have come away with all three points really, and then a sucker punch right near the end, and then 2-0. You get those other things, don't you? An attempted clearance under pressure, ricochets back off, oh, off uh, just, one of their attackers. You know it's not going to be your day. It's like one of them days, but it's like in the second half as well, with two crashed off the bar and from six yards out, but it happens, doesn't it? If it goes up, it seems like everything went against us today, but with regards to performance in the second half, I think there's a lot of positive to take from it. What attracted you to uh, to join Trinity? Kelvin? Basically, John Reid, really. Uh, I worked with him a lot over the last couple of years at Shore Lane, and uh, to be fair, you've got John Stewart, Alex Byrne, Neil Austin and Ben Gordon, Damian Reeves from the Shore Lane team last year and that, and we just like coming from home, really. Yeah, I was just coming Tuesday night and that, and it was like, it was just not like coming into a new team, really. It was like coming into somewhere I've been for a while, really, with a. Because obviously we all know each other, we know what each other's doing in that back line and stuff like that, so yeah. But we changed it again today to three at the back. It was a new system, but I think overall it worked, really. But it's just one of them days at the office where nothing goes for you, and it's just. They didn't uh, really put you on a great deal of pressure after the interval, did they? No, it's like we've just been talking about in the change rooms. John didn't really have a save to make, really. But that cross in the first half, headed it in, and then just that one right near the end, really. But And that one, it went past him, I cleared it off the line, and that, and it's just one of them days, ricochet, and it's in. The two, oh. the two that did come off the bar, the time of those, if either of those had gone in. I think we'd have gone on to win it. The momentum would have definitely been with yourselves. Uh, I think, it? to be fair, I think we had them on the ropes a lot in the second half. There was uh, shanking out for corners, out for throw-ins and that, and I think a lot of the time they were just shouting away, really. So I think we did have them under the cosh. I think we just, when we're like that, we've just got to put teams to the sword, really, and just if one goes in, probably mm. three or four mm. go in, don't they? And uh, the momentum takes us to the three points and that, but... Back to the FA Cup next Saturday. Yeah. Tough game, Blythe Spartans coming down. Blythe Spartans, I can't play, obviously, cup tied, mm. but uh, yeah, I'll be there to support the lads in that, and hopefully they can get through and uh, get some more prize money. Yeah, more prize money, keep the chairman happy. Oh, it'll keep the chairman <laughs> happy, but yeah, it's just into the next round of that. It just That just keeps the momentum going for the league as well. When you're in a cup run and just everyone stays positive and it just gives the club a good lift. Mm. We had it at Shore Lane, we got to the first round last year. Let's hope these can do the same this year. Be a good test for us. Yeah, well. Bad luck today, but oh, so no, thanks yeah. for coming and talking to Thank us. Thank you very much, mate. Cheers.